for the WBC title here in the featherweight division. Sky Nicholson, 9-0, does have that one knockout. Sarah Mahfoud, 14-1 with three KOs. Her only loss coming to one of the greats, Amanda Serrano. Very similar in height, but it'll be Sky Nicholson with a three and a half inch reach advantage. What's going to be the key in this fight, do you think, Clarissa? Um, I think the key is going to be that Sky needs to stay long and do what she does best. She's great at, she's a great boxer puncher, so she stays long, make you work on the inside, and then catch you with long, I mean, catch you with short uppercuts and those long hooks. That's what she wants to do because my food, she wants to come on the inside and she wants to just slug it out. With these two minute rounds, you've got no time to waste. 10 rounds, two minutes each. Yeah, jab, jab, and you know, try to get an angle if you're if you're Nicholson. You know, she's a she's a southpaw with a nice little right hook, straight left hand. She has a nice bounce with it. She fights with a good rhythm, nice bounce on her feet. So she can step back and counter and, and catch up my food getting over the aggressive. And Sky studied Mafood extensively coming into this fight. She says she Mafood comes in a little recklessly at times, keeps her chin up. Those are the exchanges she wants to take advantage of. <laughs> Sky Nicholson's patient approach has paid dividends so far. Yeah, without upper body movement and head movement by Mafood, you're not going to get past that long jab, long educated jab by Nicholson. And she alternates the speed and the length and then stepping back. Really, really nice thing. I could, you could tell why she, she's a successful Olympian, Nicholson, because of the, those slight foot feints, the IQ, the jab, and the precision. Her coach told her to go back to, uh, to go to the body this round. Beautiful shot right there, then escapes to the right. That's the exit of the, of the southpaw to her right. Very hard to stop if you don't have a left hook, and my food is not throwing hook, any hooks to stop her from pivoting to the right. Great shot selection, as you might say in the NBA, Chris, but in this boxing match as well for Nicholson. No wasted energy. Yeah, going upstairs, downstairs. I'm impressed with the body work early on. She's landing far more body shots than Mahfoud. Mahfoud might have landed one or two at this point. Step in left hand for Sky Nicholson. And she's just having a good time she's, in there. She's feeling herself. She's, she really is having a good time and having a good performance. Sergio, how does she change it up? She needs to get a, she needs to get rough in there. She needs to turn southpaw, try to get an angle. Once you do get inside, wrestle around. You know, you got to get on the inside. If you can't get past those long arms, you know, it's only going to be to your detriment. Yeah, and Sergio, that Mafut knows that. Like she came into this fight believing she was going to have to rough it up. She told us as much at the fighter meetings this week. We just haven't seen that implemented in the ring. Yeah, because she's worried about the the, the, the precise counter punching, especially that left hand from Sky Nicholson. Power punches through round four. 15 landed for Nicholson, seven for Mafood. And Chris, it was interesting. Sky said, listen, as happy as I am for this opportunity to win a title in Las Vegas, I wanted to be undisputed in my 10th fight. I wanted Amanda Serrano, but she just doesn't want to fight me. Do you think that's the case, that she just doesn't want to fight her, or it's not financially lucrative enough? I think more the latter. Amanda Serrano is not ducking anyone. Amanda Serrano just has bigger fish to fry, namely Katie Taylor at some point, hopefully in 2024. So it just doesn't make sense for Amanda Serrano right now to fight Sky Nichols. You know, look, Mafood has the right idea. She's throwing jabs and right hands to the body, but look right there, she turns southpaw and didn't come over the top with something. So one or two punches is not gonna be enough for Nicholson to get out of range. So throw two punches downstairs and then that's when you start the combinations upstairs, get Nicholson on the back foot. Nicholson on a rare foray forward, but it pays dividends. Are we looking at perhaps a future legend in Sky Nicholson, 28 years old, unbeaten, and having her way now with Sarah Mafood? Are you impressed by what you're seeing, Clarissa? Absolutely, she is dominating this fight. Um, it seemed like she was getting more in, uh, more in her groove last uh, last round. She was coming forward, throwing a uh, throwing a hard shots. Um, my fool hasn't, I don't know why her corner hasn't told her that she needs to be circling to the left and circling hard. It's the battle of the feet right now. If her feet stay on the inside, she'll never be able to get to Sky first. So she needs to stay on the outside and work her way in. But she keeps coming back over here to the right, which is putting her right in the fire of Sky Nicholson's left hand. 
Mafu doesn't look hurt, still looks competitive. Sky's boxing is just the difference in this fight. Yeah, Sky Nicholson's not going to be looking for the knockout. She's not a knockout puncher. Mafu's never been stopped. And she's been in there with one of the hardest punches in boxing, in, in female fighting, and that's uh, Amanda Serrano. So sticking and moving, boxing, picking your shots, not getting hit. I think she's looking wonderful. Oh, good shot. But just as we say that, she loads up, <laughs> goes for a big left hand. Well, she is coming off the first knockout of her pro career against Lucy Wildheart. Oh, good body shot by Nicholson right there. Hey, boxing's fun, right? Clarissa, you're supposed to smile in there when you're having fun. I don't be smiling, but I do be having fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have fun by making them not smile. There's the right hook by Sky Nicholson. That's, that's the first time I've seen her sweep, like sweep away with that right hook. Southpaws need that in their arsenal because anytime they have that left hand and fighters get over aggressive, you just clean it up with that right hook. I asked Guy Nicholson, how could this fight go badly for her? What does she have to avoid? And she said, listen, my food is a bit awkward. She can make things tough for me. If it gets messy, I've got to keep this a clean fight and fight it the way that I want to dictate the pace. And that's what she's done. She's done just that. And that's why she's having fun and that smile's still on her face. I don't know if she's been hit clean three times yet. Yeah. You can see that Nicholson does have pop in her punch. She, you know, when, when she throws those shots, those looping shots of Mafu, the thump that it makes, she, she does have a little bit of pop, even though her knockout ratio doesn't show it. Yeah, and a lot of that comes from the commitment to professional boxing that she made last summer. Prior to last summer, she was really thinking about going back to the amateurs to try to win a gold medal. Last summer rolls around, she says, you know what? Forget the amateurs. I am just going to chase world championships in the pro ranks. She changed her strength and conditioning coach. She changed her regiment. She really focused on becoming a professional boxer. Clarissa, as you know, it is a very different style trying to win the amateurs and trying to win the pros. Yeah, you know what? Actually, like, I think her style favors the pros better. She doesn't, I don't think she throws enough clinches in, um, in order to be uh, Olympic gold medalist or, you know, silver medalist because you have to get more active and they don't really favor, like, the outboxing and stuff in the amateurs as much as in the professionals, like, when you go by scorecards. And she's going to have a chance to move up in weight over the years, too. I mean, in 2016, when she competed in the amateurs, she was a welterweight back then. She came all the way down to this weight class. So over the next few years, as her career continues, You'll see her climbing weight class. Big left hand there from Nicholson, who's had the time of her life. <laughs> oh. oh my God. There you have it. And the new. She said, Shawnee, when want to hug her. You blew her out like that. Get away from me. And now dancing. Eric Cheek and Patricia Morse Jarman both scored about 100 to 90. Steve Weisfeld, 99 to 91. All three. For your winner, by unanimous decision,